Hello guys, look at what I got today, my ultra wide monitor and LG. It's a 34 inch in diagonal and uh, I saw good reviews of this uh, monitor. And if you look at this side here, it is obviously an IPS uh, uh, paddle. Uh, good uh, color accuracy, uh, one millisecond uh, blur reduction, AMD uh, FreeSync. I have an RX 480 video card, that will be good. And uh, one big uh, selling feature for me was the height adjustment. Not only the tilt, but you can also adjust the height. And the model you can see is the 34UM69G, 34 inches in diagonal. So I'm going to uh, open the box and uh, set this up in my office. Okay, so I opened the, the top of the box here. And we have here a bag. This is the power supply and a, uh, a CD and some manuals. And over here, we have the stand, which is very well wrapped. So I'm going to uh, unwrap this here. Okay, so I took this big piece of styrofoam out of the box and now we can see the, uh, the panel sitting in the box. I also uh, unwrapped the stand. This is the, uh, the bottom here of the stand. Some people say that uh, it looks too much like a gamer uh, look, but actually it's in the back. So on your desk, all you would see is a thin red line in the back of the stand. So it's not too much of a gamer look, in my opinion. And this is the uh, second part of the stand. Very, very heavy and me metallic inside, covered with uh, plastic, so very nice. The uh, monitor comes with a, an HDMI cable, but not a display port, uh, but that's fine. And there is also a bracket here to tie your cable together in the back of the monitor. It comes also with the LG. Um, LG provides a display quality assurance report. And you have, you get basically three curves, which is the, this one is the gamma. This one is the color temperature. And this one is the color or the delta, oh, color difference, sorry. This is the color uh, difference. So it's nice that LG gives you the report here. So apparently each monitor is measured uh, at the factory before they uh, ship it. So I'm going to put the, uh, the stands, the two pieces together, and I'll put the monitor on my desk and we'll see uh, how it looks like. I just wanted to show the bottom of the stand. So this is the stand here, the two pieces I'm putting together. And if you look at the bottom, there are two big screws, but they also have like a little handle that you can just pull and uh, you don't need a screwdriver. You can just pull these uh, little uh, clips and you can uh, tighten the two screws with your fingers. So it's, very, uh, it's a very nice uh, design. So I, I thought I would just uh, show that to you guys. Okay, so I put the uh, monitor on my desk and basically I'm replacing a two monitor setup. So I had my old uh, Multisync uh, 90GX uh, here um, from uh, NEC. That was with the, um, my uh, old 24 inch uh, Acer monitor. So that was a very good monitor. I had that for almost like 10 years. Uh, the uh, neck NEC for probably more like 15 years. So this is my new setup here, uh, 34 inch wide. I just plug it in, uh, Windows. Um, I didn't do anything so far, just Windows just upscaled the um, opening screen uh, correctly. Uh, and by the way, you might have seen my other videos about my Thermaltake uh, Core P5 build. This is the case right here. So I have a, a couple of videos on that. So uh, this is the uh, setup. I'll try to back up here a bit. Uh, this is the uh, setup with this huge monitor. I'm keeping this one for now on the side because I may use it. Uh, I like to have something like to monitor stuff uh, off the main screen. So I like to keep a separate screen. And um, I'll just going to play with, the, with it with the, um, the controls and I'll do a, a final video with my impressions. Okay, see you soon. Hello guys, so after uh, trying the monitor for uh, a day, I thought I would complete this uh, video by showing you uh, a few uh, features. So uh, the first thing that uh, struck me when I turned the monitor on is the, the colors. 
Compared to my uh, old 24-inch uh, uh, LED monitor, the colors were like v v significantly better on this uh, LG ultra wide monitor. The uh, second thing that um, that struck me is the space, like the real estate that you have on this on this screen. If you look at the bottom, there's a lot of room here to put your uh, shortcuts. Also, uh, to access the menus, there is a uh, kind of a joystick here under the LG logo. And by pressing on it, you can turn power off, input, game mode, or access the menu. So there are a lot of uh, game modes, and they're, uh, they're explained uh, in the manual that comes on the CD or on the LG uh, website. So you can go to the menu, and again, using the joystick, you can access quick settings, inputs, picture, sound, and general. So sound, and that's, this is something that is not on the uh, LG website. This monitor does have uh, two speakers and uh, also it comes with max uh, audio so uh, and you can adjust the volume obviously so um, it's something that is not on the uh, LG uh, website. So now I'm going to open a few applications just to show you here what, uh, what happens. So if you open Excel, look at the range of sales. It goes from A to AE in the default uh, column width. So this is simply amazing. So somebody who does a lot of Excel work, this is an amazing monitor. And then if you open Word, same thing, you could open basically two pages side by side. Um, I have here um, Photoshop, again, just to show you uh, how wide this is. And uh, if you browse the web, I have here, look at the top, look at the tabs, all the tabs I have open. This is uh, simply amazing. And uh, this is actually the LG website, and this is the monitor that I bought, the 34UM69G. This is my monitor right here. So some people have said that the red is uh, too, um, like too obvious. It makes it look like a gaming monitor, but I have to disagree. If you look at the stand here, most of the red is in the back. So when you look at it from the front, all you see is a nice, line like a subtle red line which is actually very good it's a very nice design and like I said at the beginning you can adjust the height obviously the tilt you can also adjust the tilt here sideways so that you can have it perfectly in line with the top of your of your desk also with uh, this uh, monitor comes an application from LG that is called on-screen control so this will split automatically your screen. Uh, you have different options. You have two screen split, three screen split, a four screen split, and also a PIP, picture in picture. You can have a picture in picture in the, in the four different quadrants. So if I select, for example, two and two, there you go. So two of the open applications will go side by side. Now, if I select three of three panels, I have all three side by side and I could select four also like let's go here and select uh, four here four split I have all my four applications open I have Excel I have Word I have my Internet Explorer and I have here the Adobe so this is very 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 nice if they are closed and you have for example selected two panes or two panels like this it, when you open an application, it will remember the previous setting. So all you have to do is click on it, drag it, and it will right there go into the quadrant or the right panel. So let's open uh, Word and just drag it here until you see the green highlight. And there you go. It goes right there. So now if you close them, the next time you will open, they will remember where they came from. So this is just amazing. It's a very, very nice uh, piece of software that comes with the, uh, the monitor or you can get on the LG website. One thing I'd like to show you before I finish this is a game. So I don't have many games, but I have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I played uh, last winter. I did complete the, the main plot, uh, now I am actually doing a side quest, I think it's called um, Wicked 
uh, wicked, um, I forgot the name, wicked something. So it's going to open now. So Tomb Raider is 21.9. It fully supports 21.9. It's not a zoom in version of 16.9. It's a real 21.9. You can see already. Oh, wicked, wicked veil. There you go. So continue. This is loading off an SSD, so it will take just a few seconds. I don't have hard drives anymore. I have two SSDs. So this is loading from an SSD, uh, which is not super fast, but still better than the hard drive. So we'll see. There's a bit of glare also here. You can see on the left side. That's because I have a window in my office on the left. So this is why you have glare on the left side. But at night, the screen is totally black, and it's also a matte screen, which is... Perfect. So there you go. You see it here. 21.9. It's just amazing. Amazing um, the field of view that you get. Uh, I'm just going to go forward a little bit here. Look at this. I mean, it's just, just amazing. Very, very, very nice. So this uh, terminates my review uh, and unboxing first and review of the monitor. I've been using it for a day. I love it. Highly recommended. Uh, it's very, very, very nice as you saw. So if you have any questions, you'd like to know more about the monitor, write uh, them down below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye guys.